MS400C gobbles up everything in the 60cc class, has one chink in its armor. It needs an oiler upgrade. So the first step in uh, doing this oil pump upgrade, we've got to get the oil pump out, which means getting the clutch off. And as soon as we get the pump out, we're going to begin uh, driving this pin right here. We're going to drive this roll pin out. So as soon as we get the clutch off, that's where we're going to. Okay, first thing we want to do is get this E-clip off right here. This is the E-clip. Okay, E-clip's out of the way. Washer's out of the way. Sprocket. Clutch drum. Bearing. And this part, you can either put you a, uh, a stop against the piston and use an impact on this or take an old dull screwdriver like this and we're going to give it one wrap. One good wrap right here on the spider. Maybe two. And off comes our clutch. That's left hand threads for those of you that don't know that. Left hand threads. And then we got a scatter shield. That comes out and then you've got your oil pump. Drive gear. It's called a worm gear. And then there's the oil pump. You got two screws right here. T27s and the oil pump lifts out. Now on the back side of this, there's a small O-ring. And be sure to put that back in on reassembly. Drive this pin out, you drive it towards the saw body. So we've got it started. It's hanging out. I want to use these pliers and grab a hold of the pin. Okay, we've got our pin out. I didn't mean to pull it all the way out, but sometimes that happens. You just have to remember which way it goes back in. So we've got that out. That's a roll pin. Now I'm going to take a, a pair of pliers with very rounded jaws. And uh, this takes a large amount of grip strength, in my opinion. Some people can do it, some people can't. We're going to grab that. Uh, brass or bronze bushing like that right there and this is an OEM oil pump body so we grab that we twist and pull and out it comes and there's that so we'll set that there as well and now the piston or the pump piston will come out we we'll notice this nomenclature this is the pump piston that's what that is so we'll twist this uh, control bolt and uh, get him out. Just gently turn it back and forth. That's another thing. You don't want to turn this too far, or you'll break the you'll break the cam. And we don't want to break anything. Okay. Light pressure. Okay. There's the control bolt. Okay. And again, nomenclature. These are the control bolts. Control bolts. Uh, in, in past oil pump videos, had some problems with folks misunderstanding things. These are the oil pump worm drive gears. So here's our pump body. And again, pump piston. Here comes this one out. Okay. And... There's one washer. There's something else we need to notice. Uh, some of these will have two washers and some will have one. 
This one has one. We'll lay that there. And the washer goes against the splines, then the spring behind that. Keep track of all this stuff. So there's one down. We have two. Uh, I had a lot of questions about that in previous videos. How do you get that apart? So there's one. Let's do another one. Just getting our beautiful white paper dirty, and that's what it's for. So there's our pump body. And another note, there are no difference in these pump bodies. They're, they're all the same. So here we go again. We need to drive that pin out first. So we're driving that towards the towards the saw. Imagine if that's on the saw, we'll drive it towards the saw. Okay, and again, I may pull this all the way out. If we do, it's unintentional. So I got a, a good way right there. Let's see if we can get our control bolt out. And I'm, I'm using gentle motion. You don't want to jerk or break anything doing this stuff. He said as he beat on it with a hammer. Hold it a little farther. And I'm turning, rotating this, and then gently prying as if I was trying to loosen the screw or something. I don't want to break anything. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. Normally, you can get it just right without pulling it all the way out. Okay, that may be it. may have it right there. This is a control bolt. Control bolt. I'll lay that right there. Now, the bushing. And you can tear these bushings up if you use the wrong tool or a tool that. Now, these pliers do not have any splines in the jaws, they're smooth. And I'm using grip pressure. Okay, so there's that. And that's it's either bronze or brass, I don't know for sure which. And then our. A pump piston comes out. Now this one's a brand new one. Okay. Spring and washer. And there's your pump body. Now see we, we left that roll pin in that one and here is the pump piston. Okay. So we've got a total of three pump pistons here. Let's let's line all these up. And I'm told there are three different uh, pump pistons. The two on the left are almost exactly the same and then this one and then uh, right here is our HO model the 1128-647-0602. This is the high output and the difference in these is the ramp on the front of that and that's hard to see. So these are pump pistons all right so we've got them tore down you understand that process had a lot of questions about how to do that and so there that is um, so we'll reassemble and we'll talk more about this putting everything back together we have transferred the o-rings from the old control bolt to the high output unit We've installed the pump piston with the washer against the splines with the spring following. It's inside there and then we have slipped the bushing in and we got the roll pin started back. And this is an old pump and this is the new one, but we're putting, putting the HO internals in here. So we want to slip this in and notice uh, there is a flat 
where your control bolt goes against. So I'm going to press this bushing in and uh, you heard it pop there. I'm going to push it a little farther. I'm going to be against this wooden bench and just press it on home. You may have heard another pop there, so we're all the way in. So now we're going to rotate our uh, control bolt and get it in. Okay, here we go. I just needed to pull the pump piston back now. It went right in. And now to, to get this uh, roll pin back in, you'll get to see this real time. This is probably the most difficult, is getting the clutch off and then getting the roll pin back in if you pull it out. Super difficult. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, brass punch, brass punch, wood block. I'm going to drive that pin back in. Being very careful. Now, these pumps will break, and I have broke the pump body before, so being careful. Easing it in. It's going good. There we go. Not quite flush. A little bit farther. Alright, there we are. Now here is your high output uh, oil pump assembly for the steel MS400. And uh, I've got another one here to do. And uh, so here's your part numbers, your high output control bolt. This is the 1128-647-4803. And right here, your uh, pump piston, 1128-647-0602. Uh, less than $50. Go ahead and put this in here while we're at it. So the pump piston is $41.99. It's $42. Bucks, and the control bolt is three dollars. I think that's gone down since the last time I've done that and that's per unit. So for less than 50 bucks you've got a high output oil pump for your steel MS 400. Video up and to make some things clear at the lowest setting uh, which would be to turn your adjustment screw parallel to the body of the pump. That's the lowest setting right there on a new pump. Here's our pump that we installed the high output internals. It's perpendicular to the pump body. That's the high setting and you can turn that anywhere in between those two but just don't overturn it either way. But all of these, all of these flow the same at the lowest setting so don't think you're going to install this 1.1 stroke pump piston and you're instantly going to empty your tank. That's not the case. So even with the, the big control bolt, the big pump piston, turn it all the way down and it's going to be the same as this one, the stock pump, uh, or the pump with the small internals. And there is a middle of the road pump piston. Uh, it is available. In my opinion, if you're going to go to the trouble to tear these things down, go ahead and put the big one in, make your adjustments. Uh, in my experience on most saws, uh, with the oiler turned halfway to three quarters wide open you will not empty the fuel tank on a, a stock saw so keep that in mind uh, your first go round uh, turn it halfway and fill your fuel tank halfway up and keep an eye on the window and your tanks until you know uh, 
what your usage is going to be. And a lot of people talk about that. They don't want to empty their oil tank before they run out of fuel. This is about putting the oil to the bar. That's the whole purpose of this mod. And you've got issues with your 400 oiler. That's why you're watching the video. Put the big pump piston and the control bolt in and, and adjust your fuel level accordingly. And keep an eye on your tanks. Uh, let's see, I think that's everything. Uh, the complete body, the complete oil pump, if you want to buy the complete oil pump rather than this $50 upgrade, the complete pump is 1128 640 3250. And these are still available. Uh, these parts that I'm showing you here and the prices are very, very recent. I think the uh, control bolt itself is actually going down in price for some reason, and I don't understand why. So uh, maybe these videos will help you out. Uh, this video in particular with your 400C steel. Thank you for watching.